Hello, I am Charlie McLean, and it's my pleasure to be here with Isabella Weems. We Weems Whiskies is an independent bottler, principally of malt whiskies. Do you do any blends apart from blended malts? We do uh, blended whiskey and we do some single cast grain whiskies, but yes, our passion is flavour, so yeah. it's blended yeah. malts for us, really. And we've known one another for 20 years, over 20 years, I think. I was, I was brought in very early on to, to, to help you and William. That's right. Um, we must, yeah, we're coming up almost to our 20th anniversary and yeah. um, Charlie taught us a lot of what we know about whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice for you to say so. But today, what, we, what I want to talk to you about is this new 25-year-old expression. It's a blended malt and I'm going to ask Isabella to tell us a little bit about it. It's mainly space-side malts. They're bourbon matured. So you get those lovely sweet um, honey and vanilla coconut. flavors, vanilla, coconut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I know I've, I've had a sneak preview and I've got my notes here, but the, uh, yes, it, it's very much a Speyside lead um, blended malt. I, I detected a very slight whiff of smoke, um, in the, particularly in the back of the, the, or the, the base note of the, on, of the aroma, not so much in the mouth. So I think it's always good to add a bit of smoky because it does add a bit of complexity and lengthens the finish very slightly, but we definitely, we're looking for balance in our whiskies always, so we definitely wouldn't want that to overpower. This is all about that bourbon sweetness for me. Well, look, let's, let's pour, pour ourselves a wee dram. Well, as you see, it's got a great color. This is natural color and it's natural strength, and the natural strength is 53.6% alcohol, 25 years old. The color, as Isabella says, is, um, it's large, well, entirely American oak ex bourbon casks, and that gives these characteristics, which we'll shortly discover. But the color, the deep color, um, is, all, is also a sign of its age, but it's, it's, it's also a sign of um, the fact that it's some first full casks as well as the bulk would be refill casks, I think. Right, slarge. Very nice, mild nose feel, mellow, but with a very, very slight prickle, which is, which you'd expect at that strength. But it means that it's still got sort of youthful characters. It's not, it hasn't gone flat. Now, top notes for me, it's, today it's mineralic. It's sort of, it's sort of, it's like lime, slaked lime. Again, fresh. It's really quite perfumed, actually, in a funny way. So there's a, a very light floral note, but then the main body is is fruity, space-side fruitiness, esters, and then right at the back of the of the nose, I'm, I am picking up. It's almost like dry peat rather than peat smoke. Well, let's taste it straight, and then then add some water. Creamy mouthfeel, and quite big in the mouth. Mm. Mm. Very nice, good, good body. Um, sweet overall, a little bit of spice in the finish. Let's try a little bit of water. I'm a great believer, I don't know about yourself, Isabella, but the, um, I'm a great believer in adding water to whiskey. It does change it. You, you, it does change it, and, and, and usually for the better. When you're doing the, the, this sort of analysis or appreciation, proper appreciation, there are two key things. The first is the glass. It's essential to have a glass. A tumbler like that is great drinking glass, and if you're just drinking for pleasure, drinking whiskey for pleasure, fine. But for appreciation, it's essential to have a glass where the rim narrows slightly, so as to present the aroma up the nose. Now, I think that, that little hint of mm. heat is, is coming up now. I'm also getting a trace of chocolate, milk chocolate. But the fresh sort of mineral-like um, note is running, running through it, which keeps the whole thing fresh. The other reason for adding water, it, which ten it tends to bring up the, the aroma, but it also makes it much easier to hold in the mouth when you're tasting it. You can swish it around and um, try and identify the, the primary tastes. It's sweet, but not cloying. It's a very successful blend. I like it a lot. I think one of the things we did do with this, for us marrying the spirit and wood is very important. We always put our blends back into wood to marry. Now that's interesting. And um, we've, this has been sitting in wood after having been blended for six years. Wow, gosh. So it's, I, th I think that really has melded the flavors together. 
It was Jurors, you know, who started the 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 uh, return returning to and marrying, um, and I mean, but they and they still do for their for their blended Scotch. Probably about six months, maybe up to a year. Um, six, I've never heard of six years marrying. Well, this is uh, I think something unique about this. Yeah, I would say I've never come across it. And that's very interesting indeed. It works very well, and you know, it it, it, it reduced strength. It's still still lively. I think it drinks. For me, it drinks better at, at, at reduced strength. And now chocolate comes through in the aftertaste. Very nice dram, well done. Thank you, Charlie. So we've been talking about um, a 25-year-old blended malt, um, which has been astonishing, has been married. The, the component malts have been married for six, six years. They're led by Speyside style whiskies. So this is a complex Speyside. There's Highland malt in here as well, and we, and we, we detected a, just a tiny thread of smoke. It's a very elegant, mouth-filling, creamy, digestive. It could be it could be drunk in the afternoon, but it would also be very good uh, with 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 dinner.